guys. Um, just want to apologise for my video being two weeks late. As I promised in my video, I'm going to discuss the topic of Jack the Ripper. Now, I know it's a bit of a funny one, but it, I do lose sleep not knowing who he is and it really pisses me off, so I'm not discussing. Uh, for those who don't know Jack the Ripper, a bit of background. In 1888, um, for three months he sort of terrorised well, East End London, um, a place called Whitechapel. Up to, yeah, three three months he killed five women, but some people believe it could be up to 11 because, as I said, we're not sure on, you know, the situation, what's gone on. And we still don't know who he is. The police have no leads. Um, all he did, he, like, sort of killed and mutilated the women. It was pretty wrong, pretty vile, but, again, it's all part of history. They do say prostitution is the the oldest profession in the world. Um, Probably true. So there was a lot of prostitution around in the 19th century because, obviously, the streets were sort of... You know, the only they were overcrowded. They were sort of lived in filthy conditions, and the only way they could sort of make a living, a lot of women was through prostitution. Um, unfortunately, yeah, there was there was there wasn't much education. Um, not like the level we have now. Um, so that was sort of the only way they say sex sells. Kind of right. On Friday the thirty first of August, again this is eighteen eighty eight. The first body that they found was Mary Ann Nichols. Now she was age forty two. Uh, she was found in a place called Bucks Row. Um, she had a bruised throat and face. She had been slashed twice, pretty much severed. The stomach was hacked open, slashed several times. Um, she was essentially the Ripper's first victim. So then the 8th of September comes along. The second victim was Annie Chapman. She was again a 47 year old prostitute. Her body was found on Hanbury Street. Um, but this time a few of her possessions were actually laid out beside her. Her head was almost completely severed. Her stomach torn open and pulled apart, which is quite similar to the first victim. Sections of her skin was on her stomach, lay on her left shoulder and on her, well, on both shoulders. And part of the vagina and bladder were actually carved out and taken away. So it's pretty gruesome what Jack the Ripper sort of did and what, what you know, the sort of things he did. So then on the 28th of September, uh, a letter was received Signed Jack the Ripper, which was basically threatening more murders, uh, and this was obviously publicised within you know newspapers and things. It was sent to journalists. See so this name obviously stuck because he'd signed that. That was his you know his sort of criminal name, um. So that's what he was called from to the, up to this day. So obviously Whitechapel, everyone was panicking. Everyone was in uproar. Um, riots would apparently br broke out. I don't know how true that is, but I've read that. Um, everyone. Uh, sort of known to be kind of like wearing a top hat and wearing a black bag classed as a suspect essentially obviously they thought anyone who was carrying a black bag would have knives in it who knows the 30th of september um yeah ripper carried out two murders that day Paul martin said that it was they were done within minutes of each other so one of the women was called elizabeth stride again another prostitute found around 1am around late you know late mid 40s again we're not 100 percent sure on the age behind Burner Street. Again, blood was still pouring down her throat, so I think she was found relatively soon, yeah, after, from after she was killed. And it, they, they, with her, they feel, because obviously the blood still was pouring, that the Ripper may have been disturbed during this time, and he's obviously fled without finishing, and which does seem, you know, it appears that could be correct if, if the blood's still gushing. So, a further quarter to that same evening, Catherine Eddowes, who was 43, was found just a couple of minutes walk away behind between sort of meter street and duke street body had been ripped open throat had been slashed uh, both eyelids have been cut part of a nose uh, and a right ear were cut off the uterus and the left kidney were removed and thrown over a right shoulder so he was literally he was a ripper he was he was horrible he was a butcher a trail of blood was then found by the police which led to a doorway a message had been chalked on the wall um so i'm going to read it on here because i can't remember it so it says the jews are not the men to be blamed for nothing which was scribbled on on a wall um in chalk so for some bizarre reason the head of the met police ordered it to be rubbed out so it was really valuable and it's been destroyed not sure why that happened but again i'm going to get onto that further conspiracy you know what the conspiracy is i've just given you a lowdown of who jack the ripper was because in case no one knows i'm just completely obsessed so one of the one of the theories was that because obviously the double murder sort of completely put Whitechapel in a complete you know everyone was terrified apparently rumors started to circulate you know it could be a uh, sorry it could be a mad doctor polish lunatic uh, an insane midwife like there was all these things because they 
the, the thing is with the Ripper murders, because the bodies were so surgically accurate and things like that, they thought it would be a medical medical professional, um, or potentially a butcher. You know, animals and humans quite similar anatomy. Maybe that's that's that was some of the rumors that were spreading around. So people were on edge with pretty much you know anyone in the medical professional. So after that, another letter was leaked to the press. He said he was essentially sorry that he'd not been able to send the is to the police like he promised and that Catherine Eddowes ear, left ear had been partially severed, so I'm assuming that's the ear he was intending to send. Who who knows? The 9th of November, he struck again. Mary Kelly uh, was the youngest of the women murdered. She was only 25. Apparently a very attractive girl. She was found in Miller's Court. Mary was actually found lying on a bed in, in a room, so I'm assuming he'd gone you know, to hire her as a prostitute and then killed her in the home. It was actually the rent collector that found her. Her throat had been cut again, her nose and breast cut off. The body was then skinned, gutted, and he lay her heart on the table. So it was a complete, he absolutely butchered this poor girl, like even more than the other girls. She was last known anyway, victim of the Ripper. It kind of just ended, The like his murders just sort of stopped and there was no other similar ones. And no one, still to this day, no one knows who he is, so. It's completely weird. There was convicted murderers who sort of claim they they wanted to be claimed themselves as the Ripper, but they, the alibis were proved that they were in another place, so they were just a bit, you know, as I said, they wanted the like fame. They were already convicted murderers. I think they just wanted a bit of fame. So that what happened was a, a member of the royal family was actually named. So the Duke of Clarence uh, was viewed with a certain amount of suspicion. And he was cleared at the time uh, because he had other engagements on, but again, that's still someone that's mentioned. The name that's mentioned was a lawyer, Montague drew it. paid after the last murder, and then his body was found in the Thames on the December 31st, 1888. So that's potentially, whether it's just convenient, who, who knows. Um, there was rumours that an actual, speaking of the royals, from a book I remember reading, if I've got this wrong, I'm sorry, but a member of the royal family essentially got a prost one of the prostitutes pregnant, um, and then it was like a whole cover up because that's why they started murdering prostitutes. So because she told obviously her friends that this royal had got her pregnant. I think they were in love, were gonna sort of deal with it themselves. And then the royal family hired and their personal doctor to sort of do the, you know do these murders to sort of get people off the trail. Now that's just a conspiracy. I don't know what the situation is. I wasn't born. Another theory. My mum's just. Um, remembered reading something that the again with the royals that the royal family's like personal physician so apparently one of the princes had slept with a prostitute caught gonorrhea now at the time obviously gonorrhea in back in those days was it was a deadly disease you know it turned people literally insane so apparently he'd caught gonorrhea off one of the prostitutes and got potentially pregnant and the baby was then whisked away because obviously no one wanted an heir to the throne that was you know a mother of a prostitute and apparently there's a theory, obviously, that the, the physician was hired to kill all the prostitutes because we didn't know which one which one it was. So there's that. Um, so thanks, Mum, for that one. Well, She's good for summer. No. I'm quite intrigued with the whole situation. Um, and I just wanted to... I mean, there are so many conspiracy theories about it. It might have just been an absolute nutter <laughs> who was a bit... You know, he just wanted to go and do this to, to these poor women. Might have been someone who was against prostitution, potentially. It does just seem funny to myself that he medically knew. It could have been a woman, to be fair, who knows. It just seemed funny that Jack the Ripper knew medically how to disembowel these women and, you know, they, they were somehow trained in, or they knew something about the anatomy. So, I mean, if anyone else has any other theories, um, you know, write a comment below. But it's just, it's just something I'm really intrigued with. It kind of, I kind of lose sleep, not knowing who he was. If, if someone said to me, you could go back in time, it would be Whitechapel in 1888 in those three months because I'd love to see what the trail was and everything. I mean, potentially he could have been caught if it was nowadays, you know, with the technology, but back then there wasn't really anything. So yeah, that was just my little video. I just wanted to discuss some some theories just because I am they are, I am quite intrigued by it all. So guys, um, so that's, there's just some of the theories. Um, if anyone's interested in researching, there's millions of books and articles online and, you know, go to your local library books are probably the best thing to read off. That's what I've been doing. Um, and there's also some good movies about it. So check them out. Again, sorry, this video is so late and I'm just in the process of moving. Everything's a bit mad. But yeah, next video, again, I'm not sure what it's going to be about. Might be my top 20 Paramore songs because, yeah, I'm my favourite band in the world. <laughs>
But yeah, thanks for watching and see you later.